Main Screen Feature Review. Let's review some of the features on the main screen, starting under the toolbar with the date on the right. The Refresh button is used to refresh the information on the service counter. Say you made an appointment on another day, the service counter may still be on that day. Or if you just voided an RO payment through the cashier, the RO would show up on the service counter again waiting to be paid through correctly, but we'd have to click Refresh first for it to reappear. Just a couple of examples. The Calendar button opens the calendar to let you pick a date to view the schedule on that date. It jumps to that date to view any existing appointments, but there's also the Appointment Calendar button on the left that, if set up, will tell you how many appointments you have scheduled for the future and what percentage of the day is still available for work. As the day fills up, the calendar will go from green to yellow to orange and then to red once it's 100% booked according to your set capacity. Now back to the schedule buttons on the right. The left arrow scrolls back by day, forward by day with the one on the right, and clicking the Today button takes you right back to today's schedule on the service counter. Note that the date that the main screen is currently on is displayed below in purple type. Back over to the side toolbar, these buttons are the primary tools used on the service counter to make an appointment, write a repair order, or write a quote. The Edit button just opens the RO you have highlighted to the right, or you could just double click on the RO to open it. And we've already reviewed the appointment calendar. Under the yellow Options button, you'll see these are secondary ways to get to the same functions under some of those buttons we just looked at. But there are a few more features here, like searching for an appointment or a repair order. Maybe editing the appointment details, like assigning a service writer, putting in a key tag number, and a couple other details about the job that you can't edit from anywhere else. Now, you may not need to use these very often, but when you do, here is where you access that appointment screen. Note this screen comes up when you start an appointment, but if you start a job from a repair order, it doesn't show at all. So it's just good to know how to reference this screen in the future, and I'll show you another trick a little later on. We also can delete a highlighted appointment or RO from the options, search for previous repair orders by repair order number, date started or date paid, again, edit an RO, just opens the highlighted RO, or like it notes, we can just press the Enter key instead. Change status. This is also something you can do when you save your repair order, or you can change the status for the highlighted RO from here. We can search for previous quick quotes, and remember, quotes written for a specific customer in vehicle are saved and stored under the vehicle options. I forget and sometimes look for their quotes under this quick quote search by mistake. And this is just quick access to the customer master record or the vehicle master record for the highlighted repair order, which of course is also accessible from within the RO under the customer's underlined name or the vehicle underlined. This just skips having to do the customer search or open an RO and have to cancel out that update RO information screen if it's not filled out to be able to access customer or vehicle information. And we have just another quick way to get to the vehicle history report and the vehicle TSBs rather than going into the actual vehicle record again. We also have quick access to the next part catalog or any other catalog you may have in the system from inside Max Tracks to be able to look up a part instead of having to open an RO. And note here, we can set a filter for what shows up on the service counter or choose a sort order for stuff on the service counter. A lot of shops like to sort their screen by status, grouping together work in progress, jobs held for parts, and completed jobs, and it's all up to you. Now down here, the blue underlined links are the various views that you have available from the service counter. Essentially, each view changes what is displayed at the bottom of the main screen. Let me also note that you can click on one of these views and then arrow down through them instead of having to click on each one with your mouse. The schedule view just displays the appointments and repair orders, no additional information at the bottom. This screen is best used if you have a lot of repair orders on your service counter and you want to view them all. The appointment view displays some of the appointment details for the RO or appointment that you have highlighted. This is a view only screen with the exception of the waiting feature that you can check anytime to put waiting in red type in the promised column for the highlighted repair order. This waiting feature helps to remind you to keep the job a priority since the customer is probably waiting in your waiting room. 
Now I use the appointment view all the time, primarily for this notes field to communicate special notes about each job. Let's say that I cover the front counter during lunch for the guys and somebody calls in about their car or a part needs to be ordered. I can put in notes for anything that occurred while they were out. Then they can just scroll through the list of ROs and see those special notes and they stand out in blue type here at the bottom. And these notes don't print anywhere. Just click on the notes field and the appointment screen comes up. Remember this from the options button? This is that special little feature I wanted to tell you about. And this is another way to access those details. Here you can update or enter another phone number if the customer calls in. We can select the driver of this vehicle from here. We can change the promise time, even return parts to the customer, couple different features. The request view lets you quickly reference the recommended services for the highlighted appointment, providing you an opportunity to upsell the job and take better care of your customer. This is another very useful screen that can be easily accessed from the service counter. Just click the arrow buttons and the recommended services are converted to requests for service on your repair order. And vice versa, if you go through the effort of quoting a service and they decide to pass on the job during this visit, we can save this for later. Click the left arrow and this will move the repair or service to the recommended section. It's that easy. The history view gives you quick access to the previous repair orders. Just double click on the closed repair order you want to view and here it is. You could also print it from here if you wanted to, but we'll just close this one. The marketing view lets you select a marketing reminder from the list. The system can also prompt you to select a marketing letter when you cash out the customer, but having this feature here lets you select it if you know there's something that will be coming down the road for this vehicle and you want to set up a reminder. And the revisions view lets you review the revision authorizations when you called, the revised amount, the total estimate amount now, who made the call, who authorized the work, and how they were contacted by phone, email, text message. You can also revise the estimate from here if you have the customer on the phone. It's really a great shortcut. And the last item on this screen, you can select to view your appointments or ROs as a single line like I have it or on two lines. Really, the only piece of information that's not displayed with a single line view is the customer's phone number. But as I mentioned, I always keep the appointment view selected, and here is their phone number down here with that job highlighted. And this concludes the main screen feature review.